What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves two cool Pokemon to show up for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Weakness Policy Tokus team alongside with Life Orb Garchomp. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and I cannot wait to hit that milestone with you guys. But getting started with this team, in that top left corner, we have Thunderous over here. And this Thunderous is made to play here. It has such a crazy moveset, and I cannot wait to show it off for you guys today. We have Sludge Wave over here to actually proc policy and do damage to opposing Pokemon. We also have Eerie Impulse for special attack drops. Taunt for support mods and scary face to slow down. So we sit here just being supporting, and he's going to be able to proc policy for our Togekiss. He has that prankster ability and that citrus berry as his item, so he can stay in the battle a little bit longer. Right next to him is going to be the water and fighting Urshifu with Unseen Fist and that Focus Ash. Protect, Surging Strikes, Close Combat, and Aqua Jet, all for stab and one first turn priority move. Middle left is going to be our Garchomp with that Life Orb and Rough Skin ability. Sword Stance set up, EQ, Rock Slide, and Protect. One thing I would wish this Pokemon had would be a Dragon move, so we had Stab rolling out with it, but I feel like we can set up and do a lot of damage with this Pokemon regardless. Middle right is going to be Heart and Soul of this team. It's going to be our Weakness Policy Super Luck Togekiss. I forgot to say Super Luck because that Super Luck does make a difference when you get crits left and right. We got Air Slash for Stab, Dazzle Gleam for Stab, Heat Wave for Coverage, and Protect. This feels like an old school Togekiss. I feel like everybody used to use this moveset, this exact like setup with this Togekiss for years. Like probably when the first year came out. Year or two, I should say. I mean, the game hasn't been out for two years yet, but it's on its way, right? November 2019? Yeah, it's on, it's on its way to two years, but the first year, everyone was using this Togekiss. It was dominating the meta with this exact moveset. Bottom left corner is going to be Cartana on the team. Gotta have this Ultra Beast. Really, really strong. Really good Pokemon all around. We have the Soul Vest right here. Beast Boost ability. And we got Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Smart Strike, and Aerial Ace. Normal moveset for that guy right there. Then in the final spot is going to be our Intimidate Pokemon with Incineroar. Shukaberry as its item. Fake Out, Flutter Blitz, Parting Shot, and Taunt for its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with this Weakness Policy Togekiss and Life Orb Garchomp team. So I actually want to use a Moxie Gyarados team for today's video, but the rental code that I had was not working. So hopefully I can get one of those uh, teams out for you guys very, very soon, considering Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemons to use on the rank double ladder. I just seem to do very well with them, but we're sitting here in battle number one with this Garchomp Togekiss team. We're going up against a, I don't even know what team to call this, I guess a, a Rotom Heat team? That's got to be like what is surrounding. He also has Nihiligo, uh, Urshifu, then he has Indeedee, Kartana, and Storm Drain Gastron. So our Urshifu is not going to be here. I think it's safe to go into a weakness policy team. Proc that policy and roll from there. And then in our back end, uh, do we bring Incineroar? I mean, physical attack drop on that Urshifu and that Kartana could be good. I mean, we have Eerie Impulse here for special attackers, which is huge. Uh, I want Kartana in my back end, and I'm thinking either Garchomp or Incineroar. Garchomp or Incineroar. Who is it going to be? Incineroar could come out here with drop a nice little pickup, but he is probably going to have Circuit Surge rolling for a lot of the time. I'm going to go with Garchomp. I am going to go with lovely little Garchomp and get rolling for there, from there. Hopefully, first turn we can proc policy. Get some big damage, maybe pick up KO, and hopefully he throws out a physical attacker that we can just eerie impulse on. Or not a physical attacker, a uh, special attacker that we can just throw an eerie impulse on, drop it down minus two, and just take it out the battle from there. Because minus two is huge. It is honestly huge. Like, you can take a Pokemon completely out of the battle. That's what burns do for physical attacking Pokemon. Say he has like a Metagross or something. If I burn that, that'll take it out for a most of the battle. He goes Gastron and Indeedee, which I'm totally fine, but I am kind of curious to what he's doing here. I'm totally going to proc policy. And I think I'm just going to get after this and maybe change terrain. He might drop a Hailstorm, but it's not Stab. That's a, that's my uh, my favorite part. And I'm just going to start Eerie Impulsive. He's going to proc his Seeds. Which is going to give him a nice little special defense boost. Which is big all around, but we're proc policy. I am going to Dynamax and... What do I do here? Do I Starfall and change terrain? Hmm. Get that psychic terrain out of here, or I could airstream. These jeans one day. We already have speed. I think Starfall is going to be a play. Try to get this off on the Gaston and just uh, Sludge Wave all around. That's my play. That is going to be my play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Eerie Impulse is coming out left and right. Two special attackers on the field for him. Gotta be sending it. Gotta be sending it. I could taunt as well. If he wants to go follow me, he can go follow me. Let's just see what happens here. 
Gotta go for our stab moves. Gotta get our damage on. Change up that terrain so he doesn't have that terrain advantage. Let's put it in our fairy advantage. Everyone loves a little bit of fairy action. Helping hands gonna come through here. And hey, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you setting up here? I mean, let me just sludge wait first. Let me, let me just do this first. Let me just take out your gash down first. How about that? Let me proc my policy first. That'd be a huge turn right here. This Gastron not be able to get off the turn. Him wasting with the helping hand. This helping hand is just a waste if, it, if uh, Gastron doesn't get a shot off. Let's see. Take him out. Tell him to get out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. First battle off to a strong start with this team. Misty Terrain going here. Toke Kiss is rolling out here. Dude, I remember when Toke Kiss was like the cream of the crop. The top tier Pokemon. When this game first came out, everyone was using them. It was Toad Kiss, Toad Kiss, Toad Kiss. And you can use it in so many different varieties. But this was like the main one. An attacking one right here with a... Uh... Wait a minute. Kind of annoyed here. He has no Lego. Not trying to deal with it. That's special attack. I'm going to see if pulls him. But I'm going to get from there. But you just couldn't stop this thing. This Toad Kiss was an absolute beast. I could Airstream. It's going to be not very effective. I am going to... Uh... A flare? I could flare. Um, I'm just going to start taking out the Pokemon on the left slot. I get your impulses going. He's that going to win do. I get your impulse onto this Nihil Lego. Hopefully he doesn't follow me this turn. Probably won't. I think, yeah, I think I knew he was kind of just going to Dynamax there. But now that he Dynamaxes, um, if he doesn't go for follow me, we should be sitting pretty. But I just don't see him going for follow me, considering everything is not very effective. I just don't see him waste a turn. I think he might just help him hand here, which I'm really hoping he does. Then I get off some big damage and just start eerie impulsing because I know for a fact you Nihil know, Lego special attacking. I'm in helping hand. No! What are you doing? Alright, hopefully I can take out Indeedy here because he's not going to go after my Thunders. Eerie impulse coming out here. You're not going after my Thunders. I know that for a fact. I'm going after Toad Kissing. I don't know. I don't know if Toad Kiss is going to be able to eat up a rock. You outspeed me. You buttery biscuit. Eat this up. Say yes, tasty snack. Oh, you're going? You are going after him. You are going after Thunders. Okay. Alright. Alright, I see you. You are going after my main man, Thunders. Beast boost is coming through here. I don't really like that. Special attack boost coming through here. And he shows that he's orb. But that's his orb Pokemon. Starfall rocking through here. Take him out. Get this Indeedee out of my face. Buffets, do your work. Buffets, do your job. Do your job, Buffets. Love you, Buffets. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett's coming through here. Yeah, speaking of Jimmy Buffett, I was just eating out of Margaritaville in Atlantic City over the weekend. Delicious, by the way. Delicious. <laughs> you guys ever been to Margaritaville? They rock out. Um, we're going here. We got stab move. It's Zach what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can. Or oh, I can't go into here and start dropping EQs. What's Jeans want to do here? Hmm. I'm gonna go into uh, Garchomp as of right now because I can EQ freely with Togekiss on the side here. We're gonna get this one here. I think I'm like max guard here. I think he thought I was gonna max guard. That's why he did that. And I think I'm just gonna max guard again. Or I mean, I think I'm just gonna max guard this turn. Try to get him to drop a rock on me and this EQ onto this now. Let's see, let's see if that that can uh, that can do me dirty. Do me some goodness. It's either gonna do me dirty by him taking out my Garchomp. Or we're going to get off a big block here and be able to roll out and get some big damage all around. Oh, okay. I'm with that. I'm with the double max guard. I'm with the double max guard. I'm fine with that. There's a leaf blade popping through here. Which Garchomp... Ooh, wow. I was going to say, should be able to eat up. He gets crit. That's why I did so much. I was curious. My rough skin is popping. Yeah, I love the rough skin. Here's my EQ. He's going to block. How much damage can we do onto this Kartana? Get him out of here. Take him out. Do him dirty, Garchomp. Do him dirty. Do him real dirty. Nope, not enough. Not enough, but we still stay in this battle. Still stay in this battle. This is tough. He's just going to dump onto my Togekiss. Uh, do I protect my Garchomp? I have him in the back. I have Cartana. I have my own Cartana in the back end. Guess we'll try Heat Waving. Jeez, dude. If we would have flared on that slide, that would have been so nice. Uh, do I have the protect here? I feel like I have the protect. The rock fall has to come through, right? Yeah. Hmm, tough battle. Not looking good for us. Gonna end up protecting here. We're gonna block this leaf blade. Stop a beast boost from rolling through here. And he's just gonna go first. Oh, no way. 
What a play by him. I give him props. Oh, all around I give him props there. Nice play, yo. He, he reads the protect coming out here. Beast boosts his Kartana, and he's going to be able to take out my Garchomp through the protect. What a play. Mad props for this guy. Mad props for this guy. Yo, oh my lord, what a play. Dang, man. GG's. GG's. First battle was pretty decent. It was decent. It was a strong battle all around, but we're going to end up losing this one. I mean, I do have my soul vest, but this Kartana is going to be able to 1v1 me all day. Unless he starts missing and we start getting crits. I do have a smart strike ready to rock out here. But the, I think the only way we win that game is if we read his max guard. And I did not see him guard like, at all. I'm curious to why he did it, considering he outspeed sped both my Pokemon. But it worked out in his favor. Smart strike, I'm going to go after his uh, Nihilago. Try to take it out. I mean, if we can KO here and be able to eat up Kartana, we have a chance at winning this. Let's just see. Because my Kartana should be able to outspeed Nihilago. Might protect here. He's probably going to protect here. Let's see. Nope, Sacred Sword's going to come through here. How much, can you eat that up? Nope, not even close. Not even close. Super effective. Drops us down, and we lose this game. So, solid battle for battle number one. Very, very close, but we end up losing in the end, and we start off today's video 0-1. Looking for our first win here in battle number two. We're going up against a Trick Room team alongside with Hatterene, Indeedee, Torkoal, Lil Gant, Charizard, and Rhyperior. So, ooh, this one's, oh, this one's kind of looking a little tough. I kind of want to Swords Dance right off the rip, but at the same time, if he goes Hatterene, then I don't like that. I could go with Kartana. And Incineroar, I mean, I can't pick out with Incineroar. I don't want to go here. Maybe proc policy, take out somebody, and then just Eerie Impulse. I'm kind of digging that. Let him go, uh, roll out with that. Uh, who do I go in with that back end? Probably Incineroar. Maybe Incineroar. Oh. No, he's going to have Psychic Surge rolling a lot here. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do here? We go Garchomp. Garchomp's not too bad. I kind of am digging Garchomp. Then in the final spot, I kind of want Urshfu here. kind of want Urshfu. Does Jeans want Urshfu or do I want Kartana? Kartana's not bad either. Now we're going to go Urshfu. I'm going to roll out here. So I'm playing on proc and policy in this battle once again. And if he goes Trick Room, which I think he is going to do... I mean, I can proc policy, get a little bit of damage off, and then I can just start Eerie Impulse and kind of slowing down that Trick Room. Because if you're going for Trick Room, like I said, you got to go ahead and Ndidi. Go for the follow me. We can Sludge Wave, take out the Ndidi, no problem, and then go from there. And we can change up Terrain here as well. Let's see who he ends up leading. He's going to end up leading over the Torkoal and Lil game. And he's probably going to drop in after you. So, do I still Sludge Wave? Do I still do this? He's going to drop a Drought. Yeah, I think I still get after this. And after you is probably going to come in here. He's probably going to erupt. I could Eerie Impulse, but I'm just going to do this. And I could Airstream, but I'd rather Starfall. Actually, nope. Airstream's going to be play. And get it for Torkoal. But I really would rather have Torkoal dead over Logant. Over Lilligant. Lilligant, however, however you pronounce it. This Pokemon barely gets used, but it, it does the same thing. People lead it with the Torkoal. It goes for the after you, and it drops an eruption every single time. Right? That's usually what it does. Usually how it rocks out. So I could have went for a taunt, but I think after you would have came out first, right? That's why I didn't go for the taunt or didn't even like uh, attempt to think about it. But let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if that, if that would work. And I've been able to taunt it and then get after it that way. But I'm going to end up Dynamax here. Hopefully I can just get rid of this Torkoal. I do not see an eruption even bringing my Pocus down to half HP. And what's called should go uh, before the Torkoal, because, oh no, he shouldn't. After you, ooh, ooh. I don't like this one bit. Eruption's scary, man. Eruption is always scary. So let's see how this plays out. He's going to go for that safeguard. You know what? I'm with that. You can go for a safeguard all day. We're going for Sludge I like that. Do mean damage over on that Logan. And Torkoal should be gone here, and we get a speed boost. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And he doesn't have Trick Room. Bye bye, Torko. Get out of my game, son. <laughs> Get him out. Get him going. Poor little turtle. I said, the safeguard. Wait, what do you think I was doing with the safeguard? Wow. Safeguard was a little, little crazy player. I know another sludge wave will take out, but. But do I really want to do that? Let's see who he throws out, and then we'll, then we'll decide to turn. I'm going to end up throwing out Charizard. 
Oh, you get an eerie impulse on. Oh, dang day. An eerie impulse, and I think I just. Hmm. Yeah, just airstream giving us another speed boost, right? Yeah, take out Logan and eerie impulse on that slot. We're doing that. That's our plan. Go ahead, Dynamax that Charizard. He doesn't know we're rocking eerie impulse. This is what I love about this Thunder's uh, moveset right here. It's so off meta that I don't think anybody could predict what's going on. Even if I was going up against it, I would not predict to have a Sludge Wave Eerie Impulse taunt and scary face. <laughs> like, it's just not happening. He's going to end up Dynamaxing Charizard. Let's see what he does from here. He has a safeguard set up. Is now after you coming in here? Nope. Eerie Impulse still coming out here. Minus two on a Dynamax Charizard. Big plays by Jeans. Sleep Powder coming out here. Okay. All right, now I see you. Can you wake up, Tokus? Quick naps. Still slumped, and what are you gonna do from here? Max Wildfire coming out here onto our Thunders, and ah, wow, wow. I mean, those things minus two. He's still just trudging along with the war. He's still just, just a beast. The little gant's gotta go. We gotta bring out, gotta bring out Speedy Boy Garchomp. And drop a rock slide. Right? Rock slide's gotta come through here. Jeez, man. Put me to sleep left and right. Hate sleep powder. Rock slide can't come through here. And rock slide is gonna be our best bet. I think we just airstream over on. The Actually, let's change up this. Mm, no, let's just go for an airstream. Over on Charizard. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. So hopefully I wake up. Hopefully we outspeed the Logan because Logan's kind of annoying here. Sleep powder coming out here again. And it connects again. What you mean? Uh, you're minus two. Can you stop doing a lot of damage, Charizard? I'm still asleep. Get out of my game. Oh my god. I hate this game. I was going for another wildfire. Eat this up, Garchomp. Or Tokus, eat it up. Well done. Thank you. So we're able to eat. We outspeed the Charizard. We still outspeed that little which I really don't like. Wildfire damage coming around and about. Um. What do I do? I think I just drop a heat wave to take out that Logan because I really don't feel like dealing with it. And who do I have in the back? Who have Urshfu? And how many turns left in drought? How many turns left in drought? Let's see. Two. But I'm going to go for this rock side. And I should wake up this turn. I'm not going to lie. I should be able to wake up this turn. Let's see what Logan's going to do. Double sleep powder, man. Did sleep powder doing me dirty. Logan's gonna go for a solar beam. Uh, can I eat this up? Is that scary? I'm not, I don't. I'm not liking that. We going after Garchomp? We going after my Tokus? I hope Tokus eat. Eat it! Oh my God, I love you. Wake up, Tokus. Yes, Togekiss, take it out. Get him out of here. Logan gone. We get a decent amount of damage off onto that Charizard, and Tokus survives another turn here. We outspeed the Charizard, which is great. And we should outspeed the other Pokemon. Garchomp wakes up. What you mean? Now we don't outspeed the Charizard. What? Like, ah! I can't do it anymore. I can't do this game anymore. We miss our Rock Slide. Miss our Rock Slide. We just missed our Rock Slide. That Rock Slide connects. That's all we needed. That rock side connects, it comes down to a 1v1 situation. And who is your final mod? Who's your final mod? Who is your final mod? That's my real question. We had an Urshfu out here and about. Your final mod is going to be... Rhyperior. Oh my lord. Oh my, okay. Who's the Pokemon we go after here? I think it might be Rocket Solar Beam. I think I still have to go for this, right? I think I have to get after Swipe here because I can Aqua Jet and take him out, no problem. Look, Swipe here has got to go. We can hit through Protect, so hopefully he forgets about that. This is Drought so long, which is tough news. We need some big damage from my boy. There's Sash, we know that. I think Wildfire has one more turn. Air Slash can come through here. And we have this thing minus two, and he's still dumping on me left and right, which is insane. See, certain strikes need you out here. Need you to do them dirty. Need big damage here. I think Wildfire might come out one more turn, but no, dude, that's crazy. That is crazy. And we just lost this battle here. 
This game, guys. This game, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do. That rock slide connects. We win this game easily. Hands down, this is a GG in a can game. It's just GG's. It's that simple. It's that simple. Drew Run comes out here. He wins this one. Oh, my Lord. I hate losing games like that. It's just a pain in the neck. But we're now 0-2. When we play two strong battles, we're going to hop into our third, and we are going to get that win for you guys. Someone please let me know in the comment section down below. Did I do anything wrong in that battle? I felt like I played that one so good and just got screwed over to a missed attack. Like he lands two sleep powders and I can't even land one rock slide. That's a rough patch for us. But I'm promising you guys a win here. We're going to get after it. This guy has a swift swim. Kings are team alongside with Chisel Pelipper, Regilecki, Urshifu, Incineroar, and Galarian Moltres. All right. I'm going the same combo, dude. I feel like this is just working out solid for us. We're just not picking up the wins. We're going to go in with that toe, kissing that thunderous. Uh, do I want Incineroar here? A lot of special attackers. A lot of special attackers. I feel like Kartana comes in a little bit better. Kartana. Yeah, okay, we're going to bring in Kartana here. And then... Hmm. I think Urshifu. Or do I not bring Kartana and go Garchomp? Garchomp's not bad here. Yeah, he's ground. Let's withdraw you. Let's go Garchomp and Urshifu. If he gets rain going with us and we can get out of that earth food with surgeon strikes, it's all around in the rain stab. Big damage coming out from him. But come on, we need a win here. We do need a win here. That first battle, I understand us losing, but that second one's like, come on, man. Like you gonna land two sleep powders, and I can't even land one dang rock side on a giant dragon. Like, how do we miss that thing? It's ridiculous. He's gonna lead the swift swim con combo. That's fine by me. Uh I might just eerie impulse protect that off of it. Be my play. Might be the jeans play. Might be my play. Do 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 do. Might be my play. And what's he gonna do? He might hurricane. Might go from there, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna protect here. I can Dynamax. I could start fall. I'm thinking of just protecting. Maybe him proc my policy through all that. I mean, what is he gonna proc me with? I don't really know. I end up Dynamaxing. So, nice little eerie impulse coming out here. I know for a fact this thing's special attacking. But you guys see that Charizard? That Charizard was minus two. Dumping on my Pokemon left and right. Like, that's how broken Charizard is. Like, he is so ridiculously strong. It is insane. It is honestly insane. Alright, uh, so eerie impulse should come out here first turn. Pelper, or not Pelper. I'm gonna protect. I thought that was Pelper's protect. Um, eerie impulse is gonna pop here. That's so minus two, baby. Run it. Run it. Gonna go for a geyser over on to go after Tokus. That'd be a little nice if you do. Nope, goes after Thunderous, and Thunderous is able to eat that up. Uh, do I eerie impulse on him again? That's my real question. Go my citrus berry. I think I might proc policy here and just roll from there. Dump him with the starfall. Let's see what Palper goes for. Oh, we're just gonna go for a tailwind. So we setting up speed. Setting up on a speed board very, very well. Um. I think I am gonna Dynamax here. Take you out, and I think I might just sludge away you. I think this policy needs to be proc. Right, and we can take off Sash of that Pelper too, because I'm guessing that Pelper has a Sash. So we are gonna end up doing that. Um, I mean, if we don't proc policy, say he goes after my Thunders again, I should still be able to do decent amount of damage onto that, uh, onto that Kingdra, which I am liking where we're sitting. Maybe should have went for a scary face to slow him down, but I don't know. Like, what, what are we going to slow down here? Tailwind. The tailwind's up, and he has supposed to swim down. So there goes our Dynamax. And he's going to go for a geyser. Go over on my token slot. Hit my token. Nope, goes there for him, and that should take him out right here. Yeah. Alright, so that takes him out. I'm totally fine with that. We're wasting out Dynamax turns. He has rain. Rain's out and about, and Starfall should come at, be able to come through and do a decent amount of damage. Hydro Pump comes through, and yeah, yo, yeah, that's what we get. And he misses it. Okay. Starfall. Do we get the KO? I don't think we will. See, of course we don't. Of course we don't. Okay. Uh, I think Urshfu's got to roll out here. We're going to roll out. Oh, but he has Pelper. But he does have Paloops. Not going to lie, Paloops is a little scary here. we go Garchomp. Uh, no. I do not want to go Garchomp. We're going to go Urshfu because I can Aqua Jet and just finish off that Kingdra. And then let, I guess, a Hurricane fly through here. Right, Hurricane is probably going to fly through here, and I am going to start boosting our speed. Aqua Jet, better do enough damage here. You're in the rain. You should be able to take out that guy, no problem. Aqua Jet coming through. Bink. 
Get him out. Take him out of there. Okay. So we get rid of him. I'm guessing it's Pelper Sash. We still do have weak policy, but I see a hurricane coming through here and bringing us down to our Sash. Right? Is that correct? Yeah. That is correct. So Sash is out and about. Do not give us ducks. Do not duck us up. We're coming out here with an airstream. Giving us a little speed boost. He has Tailwind. But he's probably still going to be able to outspeed us. And there goes that. Again, Aqua Jet should be able to come through here. Take that out. So I'm loving that. That's a little super luck crit though. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah, don't say we got lucky considering we have that ability to give us that boost. But if we have a crit other otherwise, I'll be like, yeah, yo, that was lucky. And I, I would admit it. I'm going to throw out Incineroar, who has Fake Out ready to go. Has Fake Out ready to go. That's a little tough. We are still going to try to thrive for this Aqua Jet here. And I might just go for this Airstream. I mean, he has... Hmm, we do have Rock Slide. I'll go for here. Do I go for that Airstream or do I change up terrain? Hmm. What does Jeans do here? I think Airstream's got to come through here. And we're going to try to get off this Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet, but I think Fake Out is just going to pop through here. He's going to get rocking with that, right? Yep, Fake Out comes out first. And later, Urshi. Bye, buddy. Bye, Urshfu. I probably do. Don't I have Protect with him? I probably should Protect it. I think that should have been the play, right? That probably should have been the play. Right? I'm rocking Aqua Jet, close combat. Certain strikes. Don't give me the docks. Don't do it to me. What you mean? Tailwind's gone. We're going to roll out here. So he has no Tailwind. Garchomp should be able to outspeed. I'm going to drop a Rock Slide. That should be faster. That should be faster. Dang game, man. Gives me ducks. But I should have protected there. Then being able to Aqua Jet next turn. This should win the play. I'm going to go for that Air Slash. And I am going to go for the Rock Slide. Come on, Garchomp. Do him dirty. You got this, Garchomp. Garchomp, if you miss, I swear. I swear. Garchomp, if you miss this dang Rock Slide. So there goes that Confusion. We connect with that. That's lovely. Did we take you out with that? Should be able to, right? Put him on one. Garchomp. It connects! Hallelujah! Hey, hey, hallelujah! <laughs> Rock Slide connects. We pick up the double KO. We're looking real pretty here. We got two strong Pokemon here. And we should be able to pick up this win easily. Unless he has a Charizard. But <laughs> we know he doesn't have a Charizard. Let's see. Who's the final man going to be? It is going to be... <laughs> Regilecki against a Garchomp. Yo, get this dude out of my game. Get him out of here, Gleam. He's going to cancel. He's going to cancel. GG's. I promised you guys a win here, and we got you guys a win here. He's going to go for a Thunder. He's like, yo, I'm gonna, at least I'm going to take out your Tokus. And you know what? That's fine. You can go. You can take out my Tokus. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you now. <laughs> he was like, I'm not going down without a fight. But, yo, get this thing out of my game. Get him out of here. Garchomp slides through. Takes out that Regilecki in one hit. And we get that win for you guys, like I promised. One and two for today's video. Not too shabby. I feel like we should have been two and one. But at least we got that final win. I really did like this team that we used today. I wish we were able to pick up another victory for you guys. But we got to show off this team to its fullest potential. I love the Thunders combo alongside with Togekiss. The Thunders really threw off a lot of people considering it has an off-meta moveset. And then we have Garchomp, who's just an all-around beast with a Dragon and Ground type. We have Sword Dance to set up. We did not get to show that off, but we have him showing off with his EQ and Rock Slide and his back-end potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, we're on the road to 10k subs, and I would love to get that as soon as possible. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.